Hi there, Acura owners. Today in your 2009 Acura RDX, we're gonna be test fitting Thule's Hitching Post Pro. This is a four bike hanging style rack, and it's gonna be ideal for non-carbon fiber bikes, especially if you're wanting to haul many bikes in a small package. Each bike will have three attachment points that's gonna hold it in place. You'll have two cradles, as well as an anti-sway here. The anti-sway helps prevent bike to bike or bike to rack movement. You can see even when I push it, it's never gonna make contact with our rack. Each of the cradles have grooves in them, which will allow pass through for your brake cables, so that way nothing's gonna bind up and your cable's not gonna be pushed up into the frame, causing any abrasions on the finish of your bike. When you're ready to use your bike, we simply need to undo the straps. Again, there's a total of three per bike. I want to start with the outermost bike if you've got more than one on. And then we just simply lift it off and bring it back. And this bike rack will work with most bikes. If you are using a women's or a children's bike, sometimes an adapter is necessary. We have that here at eTrailer.com. Each strap is going to be a rubberized material that stretches, ensuring that it holds your bike into place and that they won't cause any scratches to the finish on your bike. Now that we've got our bikes removed, sometimes you need to grab some gear out of the back of your vehicle before you hit the trail, but right now we're not going to be able to open our lift gate because it's going to come into contact with our rack. Down here at the bottom, we've got a pin, and if we remove this pin, Thule's already thought of this scenario, and this will just tilt away. And now we can easily gain access to any of the items here in the back of our vehicle. Grab the gear that we need, and we're ready to get back out on the road. It simply just pushes back up into place and we can reinsert the pin to restore it to its functioning position. Now I've got some measurements for you to help you when deciding on accessories. From the bumper to the furthest point here at the back of our hitch, it's about 32 inches. And the ground to the furthest point here at the back is going to be here at about 13 inches. And our closest point it's going to be here on the inside where our cable pass-through loop is, and it's about three and a half inches. You just want to keep these measurements in mind when you're driving around in a parking lot, any parking spaces, and before you go to store it in your garage and shut the door. Now, if you are going to be parking it in your garage after you've got your bikes unloaded, you don't necessarily need to remove your bike rack because you can significantly reduce the distance that the bike rack has on your vehicle by removing the pin here at the top. This will just tilt down and we've now greatly reduced how far it sticks out the back of our vehicle and our furthest point now is only at about 13 inches here if you're planning on driving around with it in the storage position and you want to go into a parking lot i do recommend that you reinsert the pin here so that way it's not flopping around the small hoop here on the inside towards the vehicle will allow you to pass a cable lock through so you can keep your bike secured to your rack we also have locks for your bike rack to keep it secure to your hitch so you can protect all of your investments. But what comes included with our bike rack will just be a standard anti-rattle bolt, which is going to take out any play inside of our receiver, so that way none of those vibrations and bumps you get going down the road are going to transfer to your bikes. This bike rack will work with either a one and a quarter or a two inch receiver. We've got the included sleeve on there, which allows it to fit right into our two inch receiver with no problem. Here you see it out on our test course. First we'll go through the slalom, which will show you the side-to-side -side action, such as making turns or evasive maneuvers. Next we'll show you the alternating speed bumps, which will show the twisting action, like you might see going over uneven pavement or hitting a pothole, or maybe riding over a curb. And last but not least, we'll go over the solid speed bumps, which will show you the up and down action, such as going through a driveway or parking lot. And that completes our look at Thule's Hitching Post Pro on our 2009 Acura RDX.